Hey everyone, I'm Daryl, the Broken Nerd uh, from the YouTube channel and uh, I'm here with Tested today. And today I'm gonna be talking about my favorite things from this year. Um, so I'm actually gonna start off, uh, I'm traveling from Virginia Beach so I don't have many of the items here with me. Uh, so one of my favorite things from this year is the Moai P from Piopoli. And it is a SLA resin printer that I received earlier this year. It um, has immensely uh, improved my workflow in 3D printing. The quality of the machine is absolutely amazing. It's actually, I got it as a DIY kit, so it's about four or five hour build and absolutely amazing. And I would recommend actually buying the DIY kit because once you build it up, you're able to go back in and if there's any problems, you can go back in and fix anything that you uh, follow directions. And there's plenty of tutorials online for the DIY kit that you can build up. And again, I love that printer. The next thing on my list is uh, IC3D PETG. It's a filament and I've been using it, uh, I wanna say about the middle of this year and it's absolutely amazing. I've been using PLA uh, ever since I started 3D printing and I just started using PETG this year and you can call it PETG or PETG. And IC3D offers it in various different colors. They actually had, uh, actually purchased some um, in different colors and they're experimenting with different colors as well, but it's it's super easy to sand, super easy to print. I feel like you're getting both of best worlds with this um, particular filament. Uh, you get the best both, you get the best of ABS and the best of PLA. PLA. So you get the ease of printing uh, that you would with PLA and you get the durability of the ABS. So you're really colliding both those worlds in this one filament. So I have really been loving it. I've been printing with it ever since. Um, some of the videos that I presented for tested, I've used PETG. Uh, I print all my helmets in it, so I'm really, really enjoying that material. The next thing on my list is the Atom 2.5, which by far is my favorite printer that, out of all the printers that I own, this is my favorite printer. Uh, I actually um, got this printer earlier this year. It's a Delta style printer. Uh, the build quality on it is absolutely amazing. The presentation when you get the box, absolutely amazing and the thing i like about this printer it absolutely works a lot of the other printers i have to do some tinkering around to you know to get them to print but this printer is really every time i go to print something it, it works and the quality of the actual prints is outstanding it by far one of my favorite printers uh, the Delta, it's a, again, it's a Delta style. It's built very sturdy. Uh, uh, I actually have a custom, um, I actually have a custom build plate for the printer itself, which has my logo on it. They were so kind enough to uh, print me one. And again, the printer just absolutely works. It's amazing. So I would recommend checking out the Atom 2.5. And last on my list is this MacBook Pro that I was able to get earlier this year. This is the 2018 version, um, uh, Intel i7. Uh, immensely, immensely improved my workflow in 3D modeling. I was actually working off a 2012 edition up until this year. I didn't realize how slow that computer was until I purchased this one. I've been able to do more complex 3D models, been able to follow up on my sl in slicing programs, add programs that I wasn't able to use on my uh, previous laptop. And this has just, Im again, immensely improved my workflow. I'm able to do uh, faster renders on here when I'm uh, mocking up something for 3D printing and uh, able to use programs like um, a mesh mixer and uh, able to uh, do booleans and, and cuts into uh, some of my 3D models. So this has been a great tool for my workflow. And again, it, it, I use this every single day. So this is number one on my list as my favorite thing of this year. So once again, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you all have a happy new year. See you next year.